In the ever-evolving landscape of military technology, the field of artillery rocket systems has seen significant advancements. Two prominent systems, the Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, and the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, have become crucial battlefield assets for modern armed forces. While sharing similarities in their purpose, these systems differ in various aspects. Let's explore the nuances that set MLRS and HIMARS apart. The M270 MLRS and HIMARS launchers are mobile, survivable, and highly effective, with an outstanding track record of combat-proven reliability. First introduced during Operation Desert Storm, the M270 MLRS launcher has decades of combat-proven reliability protecting service members and is now modernized with upgrades that will provide interoperability with partner nations and fire the next generation munitions like the Precision Strike Missile or PRSM and the Extended Range Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System or ERGMLRS. While HIMARS offers the same MLRS firepower and mobility on a wheeled chassis, providing enhanced transportability using C-130 aircraft. With over 2 million operating hours and 550 launchers in the field serving soldiers, marines, and partner nations, HIMARS has earned its reputation for outstanding combat reliability. Firing the same suite of MLRS munitions as the M270, it can reach ranges from 15 to 400 plus kilometers. Known for their shoot and scoot capability, both launchers require minimal personnel to conduct operations. They can place, fire, relocate, and conduct reload operations in minutes, dramatically reducing the adversary's ability to locate the launcher. Hot Mars and M270 MLRS can also integrate into the joint architecture commanders need on the battlefield now and in the future. Retired U.S. Army General Mark Kirtling recently said the long-range missile system provided to Ukraine's military is nimbler than other rocket launchers, giving the country an advantage against Russia. Kirtling made the remarks in a Twitter thread explaining how the HIMARS is particularly well-suited for Ukraine's fight against Russia. Since the U.S. agreed to share the missile system, Ukrainian forces say they've used it to great effect against the larger and better-equipped Russian military. Hurtling added that Ukraine had initially requested multiple launch rocket systems or MLRS units, but Hurtling said the M270 MLRS is a tracked vehicle designed to keep up with tanks on rough terrain. The M142 HIMARS, he said, is a fast-moving wheeled vehicle that travels 60 miles per hour and higher on roads and 30 miles per hour on rough terrain. MLRS is harder to fix, has more parts, said Hurtling. HIMARS is basically a truck with rockets. The MLRS has two rocket pods and 12 missiles compared to HIMARS six-missile rocket pod. But Hurtling said it's easier to train a smaller crew to operate the HIMARS, which he said can shoot, scoot, and reload faster with fewer troops. Hurtling added that the lower maintenance of the HIMARS and its ability to maneuver quickly in eastern Ukraine, where Russia has refocused its war efforts, also make a difference. Moreover, the M270 MLRS and HIMARS chassis differ in novelty. The M270 MLRS was designed in the late 1970s, entered service in 1983, and has a track chassis from the M2 Bradley. HIMARS was developed in the second half of the 1990s and started to be transferred to a unit in 2002. M142 HIMARS is built on the chassis of an army truck, M1140 a modification of the Austrian Steyr 12 M18. The M270 MLRS can launch 12 packet missiles per minute. HIMARS takes half the time. 
Using a wheeled chassis, rapid deployment, and dismantling of the complex digital fire control allows HIMARS to use the beat-and-run tactics the armed forces love. The M270, which has a crawler chassis, is slightly less mobile. M142 HIMARS is quite a new system, so it does not need modifications, but M270 MLRS has been upgraded several times. In 2005, M270, a one received a new fire control system and a new mechanical part of the launcher, which allowed MLRS to use guided munitions. Depending on the modification of the 227mm missiles, the M270 MLRS and HIMARS systems can hit targets at a distance of 32 to 70 km, and with the GMLRS ER long range missile even reaching 150 km, it is a pity that these munitions began to be produced only in 2022. Overall, the M270 MLRS and M142 HIMARS are actually almost the same weapon systems. Both use the same rockets and launchers. The difference is that HIMARS is significantly lighter and more mobile, hence its full name, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. This is because HIMARS has six rocket launchers, while M270 has 12, like two HIMARS modules. HIMARS is also not as well armored. Due to the increased ammunition load, the M270 has a fully tracked chassis from the Bradley Fighting Vehicle. It weighs around 25 tons. Meanwhile, a significantly lighter high Mars pushes the needle on the scale to just over 16 tons. This is a huge difference. Add the wheeled chassis, and you will understand why high Mars has high mobility in its name. The maximum speed of the M270 is 64 km per hour, which is not bad for a tank with MLRS on top. Meanwhile, HIMARS can go 85 km per hour at highway speeds. And it's not just that HIMARS can safely go on asphalted roads without making a huge mess. And 270 would destroy asphalt to bits, but it is significantly better off-road. Overall, M270 can deliver a stronger strike, more rockets, while HIMARS is more mobile it can hit and run much more efficiently. According to Ukrainian military observer Mihailo Zhyrokov, M270 is a rocket salvo system that uses the same missiles as the M142 HIMARS. The difference is that HIMARS is a wheeled vehicle based on an ordinary American military truck, and the M270 is a tracked vehicle based on the Bradley fighting vehicle. They use the same ammunition. High Mars can launch one block of six rockets, and M270 can launch twice as many.